Welcome back. Uh, this video covers control sources. In the earlier videos, uh, we talked about how you install the ORCAT um, uh, schematic capture and uh, piece by simulation. In this uh, program, we're going in this video, we're going to talk about uh, the four different kind of voltage uh, control sources, voltage control sources, and current control sources and um, show how we would use it in a typical circuit. So let's go ahead and get started by creating a new project. We're going to call File New Project. And just because we are doing control sources, we're going to call it Control Source uh, Example. And then again, remember, we're going to do an analog or mixed A to D selection here in the project, put it in a directory of our choosing, and say OK and then we're going to start with a blank projects and, <clears throat> and as you can see it does uh, create uh, uh, a number of tabs for us one is uh, where all the files are and the other one would be the page where the schematic is residing I like to have full screen so it's a little easier for us to work with so we'll just go with the cascading option and uh, maximize uh, both of these uh, things knowing that I'm going to get a tab that I can go back and forth between them. So that's where we are. And um, so uh, we, we, you can see down here it's, uh, the system is talking to us and letting us know that we don't have a design yet. Yes, we have not put our schematic in here yet. So let's, uh, the, 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 the reason we are doing this is just to get exposure uh, to the different kinds of control sources. So let's go over here on adding a component. We're going to go ahead and add a component and then um, for whatever reason the control sources are placed in the analog library. And remember if it's not in your dot in your uh, um, your application click on add library go find it and add it. Uh, just click on this button here to add the library. So now we we have analog, so it's in here. And you will find letters E, letters F, and uh, G, and H. Those are the four kinds of sources we have. And as you see, as I click on each one, it shows it here. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take each one of these out, double click on it, and I'm going to put it someplace so we can come back and look at it later. <coughs> Let me put them in. So I'm putting the F, and this is the G, and uh, then I'm so there is the other one, and finally the E. So let's go ahead and do the. Oops, and let me move it kind of here. And what I'm going to do is going to try to um, zoom a little bit on. Uh, so let me go ahead and see how we can go ahead and zoom this out and I'm going to click on this plus zoom in just to zoom in a little bit so it's a little easier on the t and on your screen so you to see it um, so let's let's start with this one as you can see from the image I'll just zoom in just a bit more so H is the uh, one that is we're going to call a voltage controlled uh, I'm sorry current controlled voltage source so this branch uh, takes uh, controls what voltage you're going to see coming out of here so um, somewhere in your circuit you would tie this into your circuit so it kind of measure the current so this is called the voltage source that is controlled with the current or current controlled voltage source now let's go over that's called it H so if you look at a G, uh, it's the relatively the opposite of that, where the where it's a voltage controlled con current source. So this voltage here uh, controls what generation. By the way, all of them have a gain uh, initially set to one. You can double click on it and change it to anything. You can't put a fraction in there, but you could put a number. So I can say the gain for this is five and just leave it at that. And then um, and then this one is basically. Um, a control current source, a current controlled current source, current controlled current source, and then the last one is voltage controls voltage source. Okay, so that's that gives us kind of a pretty good perspective. Let's go ahead and zoom back in, and we, it's kind of would be 
um, silly to use all of them. We just use a couple of them as an example of how we'd use it. Let's go ahead and get rid of these two on the bottom. And we're going to try to use this in a circuit and this one in a circuit. So let's say it's a relative, let's build this relatively simple circuit. Let's say uh, we would have uh, a source. Let's go ahead and find a source. And in this case, let's say we have a DC voltage source. Um, we're going to take the DC voltage source, we're going to put it here, and then we're going to say, okay, and then maybe a couple resistors just to have, uh, so we're going to go to the analog side and pick up some resistors, and let's say we put a resistor here, maybe another one here, maybe another one for later use there, and then, okay, so, um, we got a circuit uh, that uh, um, goes there and let's say this this uh, device uh, um, is controlled by whatever voltage seems to appear across this resistor and then maybe we have um, another resistor that is uh, the 1k we're going to change the 1k maybe to a let's say a 10k and we're going to say, okay, that's a 10K resistor, and maybe the 10K resistor sits right. Uh, let's give it a little bit of space in case we need it. Um, grab a piece of wire, connect these guys together. And then let's say we maybe we have, we want to use this resistor, and this resistor is potentially could be, let's say, sitting here, but we want it to be vertical, so we're going to right click on it and find it and maybe this is a maybe this is a 50k resistor okay so so we've got all these set up and then put we and we're thinking maybe this current this uh, voltage source which is controlled by this side the current source the H kind is uh, maybe looking at the current that flows through um through this branch now notice how when we're doing a current source <coughs> we are uh, we are going in the path so the current goes through so we break the circuit and put it in here when we're measuring we're, we're sensing the voltage we go right across it there's no opening required um, that's a common uh, mistake uh, that folks make uh, when it comes to setting these kinds of circuits up okay and then uh, you know just um, kind of uh, let's say this uh, device is coming down and hooking up here and the other side if this device is here we need maybe another resistor and we're gonna put the resistor uh, put, well, let's go ahead and do put it here and we'll turn it to rotate it and um, and then uh, make the connections. So we're gonna get a piece of wire that goes from here to here, and then from there to there. And um, let's say um, this is simply coming back down and going here. Hold on. Now remember, in order for me to be able to simulate this, I have to make sure I have a ground. So let's go ahead and find the ground, um, which is sitting here. And that's the ground I need. I'll take it over here, put it here, and grab a piece of wire to make sure it's connected. All right, oops. There we go. So now we have a full circuit is ready to simulate, and I can simulate it, see what's going on. And let's go ahead and set up a simulation. Let's say I've got a P side, P P spice. It's a new simulation, and uh, this is the name of the. We're gonna try to name it um, with what we picked, which was controls source example one. So you can name it at whatever you want. So we name it and put it away. Uh, so and here it now the next uh, videos we'll talk about which one we want which uh, type of uh, uh, simulation we're gonna do for for this one we're just gonna assume we're doing whatever the default is or time or 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 bias biases to probably the simplest because it just simply says 
what the voltage is at the time at any given point of time is more of a DC bias type thing but for now we're not gonna make a change we're not gonna do anything we're just gonna use the standard one and then we're gonna <coughs> run this thing and when we run it we get all that that's interesting how huh? so if we I put zero zero source into the whole thing so everything is zero so this thing is shut off so let's go ahead and take a moment and turn it on and let's go ahead and put maybe three amps in here and say okay so we put three amps in there and let's go run the simulation again and voila we got uh, we got the um, um, let me let me turn this off fault I'm gonna turn off current I'm gonna turn off and it's giving me all the voltages in different places for the circuit and uh, if I just want to see the current in different circuits I'll turn them on and there we go so all of that is available for us to see and um, by uh, so that's basically how you use a uh, uh, control source and uh, the big thing to remember here is that if it's a cur current that is controlling it, you have to open up the circuit where the current is and put the circuit in there. When it's a voltage, you can simply go across it, and that's all you need to do. So that brings us to the end. In this particular video, we covered uh, control sources, all four kinds, and how you put it in the circuit, how you do the simulation. And thanks for listening, and um, look forward to our next uh, conversation.